much. All right, I think uh, we had, we've got the last speaker before we get on to a, a panel discussion. Uh, so now, you know, again, switching gears here, uh, you know, tech has been a boom, has brought about many changes in the past decades. Uh, you know, the electromagnetic radiation that's coming, emanating from cellular towers, from Wi-Fi, from microwave, uh, with 4G deployment and 5G on the anvil, the tele density or the density of towers is going to grow up. And uh, I'd like to now, without taking away any more time, like to invite Nihar and uh, you know ask him to share with him with us what LiveSafe is doing to tackle electromagnetic radiation. So Nihar, the floor is all yours. Thank you. Thank you, Apple. Uh, I hope you guys can hear me clearly. So. Um, Everybody's spoken about something you can feel, hear, smell in many cases, taste, touch. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about something today which you can't feel, but it is affecting you and it's affecting your well-being and it's affecting the well-being and health of spaces. So today I'm going to talk to you about radiation. It's something which powers everything we use. Our cell phones, our devices, IOT, everything works on electromagnetic radiation. But could this be affecting you? Um, I don't know if you observed, but if you use your phone for a few minutes, your ear tends to get hot. So that is actually the microwave radiation from your cell phone antenna cooking your ear. And it not only cooks your ear, but it actually goes through your brain and affects your brain as well. And for adults, it's not as much, but for children, it's more. So this is something which is definitely affecting you. And I'm really thankful to the uh, panel here for you know including this over here. <coughs> Cell towers, Wi-Fi's, and devices, these contribute to radiation in our environment. Um, we spoke about inclusion. We spoke about you know um, divine charities. Today, I'm going to talk about something which may be there in places we feel God may not be there as well, <laughs> electromagnetic radiation. So when you have a headache in the same place, when you sit in a place and you have a headache, chances are that there's a Wi-Fi router right above your head. If you wake up in the morning with a dry mouth and you're tired, chances are there's a cell phone outside your window, cell tower outside your window, or you've kept your cell phone right next to your nightstand. So these are things which are affecting you in ways you cannot understand as yet. And a lot of people don't understand. But there are published medical, peer-reviewed medical studies which conclusively show and prove that this is affecting you. So this is something we really need to look at and take cognizance of when we start living in this modern world where everything is wireless. We have two types of exposure to microwave radiation. We have consensual exposure and non-consensual exposure. Um, the words are actually quite loaded because consensual is something when, you know, you, you take your cell phone, you buy a new cell phone, and you peel off the plastic cover, which, which is akin to you scrolling down the long line of legalese and clicking on I agree and pressing OK. The, the peeling off of, of the plastic cover on your cell phone uh, is, is similar to that. So that is something which actually uh, you know, makes it consensual. So you have agreed to the terms and conditions of the cell phone manufacturer or the device manufacturer, and it's consensual exposure. And you also have non-consensual exposure. Our world today is flooded with it, especially in offices. So if you look in an office, you have repeaters, you have Wi-Fi routers, and you have many of them. Not just that, you have you know, signals from your neighbor's phones, from your neighbor de neighbor's devices. There are standards which govern your maximum full body exposure. And in many of the cases we have seen, we exceed that by a factor of 10, maybe 20 sometimes, in some cases even 100. Unbelievable exposure to radiation today. And we're not even aware of it. Um, I told you that it was dangerous. There are studies which prove that it is. So, you know, these are published peer-reviewed studies. There's a clear link between uh, microwave radiation and cancer. There's a clear link, you know, which uh, prompted the Supreme Court of India, the Honorable Supreme Court of India, to actually get a tower removed from a premises because there was a cancer patient affected. And um, 
it's not just towers. It is a lot of other devices which we use in our office environment, which are causing a lot of symptoms, which affect our well-being and, and our ability to work, our ability to communicate. And this is something you know we really can address and make a difference in. It's very small changes we need to make. Distance is your friend. We need to maintain a distance of uh, at least 18 inches, one and a half feet from our devices and ourselves. If we maintain that, our exposure comes down by almost a factor of 10. Unbelievable, just 18 inches. If you keep your cell phone 18 inches away from your body versus on your body, your exposure difference is 10 times. Same thing with cordless phones. Most people don't even know it. You know, the place most people keep their cordless phones are right next to their nightstand or, you know, right in right where they're sitting. But a cordless phone actually radiates quite a lot and it radiates constantly. So you need to be aware of that. Um, women have a brilliant advantage. They carry purses. Men, we carry backpacks, but we find it really inconvenient to keep our cell phone in them. So what uh, we need to really do as men is practice distancing from our mobiles. I know we love our mobiles a lot, but this is something we really need to do. Bluetooth is something we need to avoid as much as possible. Please use the wired hands-free kit to reduce your exposure to microwave radiation. Children and mobiles don't mix. Um, there have been published studies which show that uh, anxiety, hyperactivity, attention deficit disorders, even autism have been directly linked to a high exposure to microwave radiation in children. We need to really look at that. Second thing is um, your Wi-Fi router. When you look at a router, you need to be able to just not see it to use it well. Keep at least 15 feet to 30 feet away from the router or at least one wall away from it. That is when you will have optimal signal so that your device works well and your router does not harm you. Try to keep that and, and you, you'll be able to see that you're much fresher, you're less fatigued at the end of a work day and you're more productive. Another uh, very important aspect is uh, for the road warriors. We travel so much every day and uh, you know we use our phones constantly in, in the car. The car is a metal box which keeps all the radiation inside. And all that radiation is actually absorbed in your body. So you're pretty much like sitting in a microwave oven. And uh, what we strongly recommend is to keep the mobile phone face down on the dashboard of your car to avoid it from radiating your interiors too much. This is something we look at. Microwave ovens, please be in the next room, especially if you're a woman who's pregnant. We strongly recommend you distance yourself from your microwave oven when it's on, when it's working. Watch out for symptoms, headaches, pain at the base of the neck, hissing sound in the ear, chronic fatigue at the same location in your body as well as if you get it at the same place where you sit, chances are that place has high radiation. So what we as a company do is we identify the sources of radiation in your workplaces, in your houses. We evaluate your exposure as per the uh, Building Biological Institute in Germany standards. And uh, we make you aware, we help you plan your usage better and we also have proprietary and patented products which we install to reduce your exposure and bring it to safe levels, most importantly, without, without affecting your communication. So you can actually use your devices all you want well without being exposed to high levels or dangerous levels of radiation. So this is what we do in a nutshell. We'd be happy to work with you and uh, give you more information if at all you're interested in this. And uh, we do this uh, real time without affecting your workspace and we offer guaranteed results for a fixed cost. This is uh, one of our case studies. From 1.2 watts per kg, we brought it down to 0 0.02 watts per kg. 0 0.08 watts per kg is the standard which is allowed, uh, safe standard globally. And we're well within that. We got this without compromising on connectivity. This is some of our clients. Thank you very much uh, for listening to us. It was a pleasure presenting to you. And um, very happy to you know, work with a lot of companies in, in making sure that uh, 
when people come back to their workspace, they come back to a healthy, happy, and a productive workspace without affecting immunity, which is one of the key things which is affected by excess microwave radiation in your environment. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Nia, for, uh, for that. That was very interesting to hear again. 